Your cellulite is not going to go away if you do aggressive rolling or aggressive self myofascial release. In fact, you're likely to make that issue even worse for yourself. Cellulite is an aesthetic pathophysiology. So first of all, if you do aggressive rolling or aggressive myofascial release. So I think a lot of times there's this misperception about fascia blasting that it is aggressive. So the first thing that I want to say is that you are the person using the device. And so you are the one that actually controls how hard or how deep that you go. But I know my messaging over the years has always been light and brisk, light and brisk, light and brisk. So I want to start with that as the first myth. So then the second thing I want to address is that the woman in the video says that you're likely to make this issue, meaning cellulite, even worse for yourself. I don't have any research on foam rollers or wood tool rollers or anything that rolls, but fascia blasters don't roll. They are actually designed to penetrate down into the tissue around those individual muscle fibers, creating load, stretch, and shear, which is what we actually need to remodel the tissue, not damage the tissue. I just want to pop up some ultrasound images from our study. We really went in to see what is happening to the fascia tissue below what we see at the surface and we're calling cellulite. So what I want you to see is that we not only did not see it getting worse, meaning what we actually saw was the tissue going from dysfunctional in various ways, being too thick and disorganized to the tissue being organized in just 90 days of fascia blasting. So the myth in this that I want to bust is that aggressively doing myofascial release is going to make things worse because that is the opposite of what we saw in peer-reviewed and published science, which is the gold standard. And also, it's not my opinion. We're actually able to look inside the human body and see that not only is damage not happening, but we're seeing a full restoration. I just think it's super important that we are getting our information from science and not making judgments on things before we really understand them. So for me, this is a myth completely busted.